It's undeniable that Baby Monster is one of the most looked after debuts from YG last year. And while there was hype surrounding the girls, a lot of fans believe that their first release was, for the lack of better words, underwhelming. Most people blame YG for its poor promoting skills, but there are also others who think that Ahyun's departure right before they make their debut made their biggest impact. This is why when the announcement was made about her return to the group, Knets lost it and immediately trended across social media. And now, the girls of Baby Monster are preparing for another album this time, with all the original members ready to take center stage. This left a lot of impression in the industry, but a lot are still asking, what really happened? And why is Ahyun making a return? Are you ready to find out? Okay, cool. Let's get started. Baby Monster Debut Ever since Baby Monster made their debut last year, fans have had mixed reactions about a lot of things, from their concept to title track. A lot of Knets also think that they are lacking, maybe because they didn't live up to the hype or YG was just doing so bad promoting them. Rumors of Baby Monster initially started in 2018, barely two years after Blackpink's debut, when young female trainees were sighted in and around YG Entertainment's headquarters in Seoul. In 2020, these were confirmed, when YG Entertainment was seen registering a trademark for Baby Monster and Baymon. And since then, more info about the girls was shared online. In 2021, No Hee Young, CEO of YG Entertainment's restaurant business, YG Foods, was cited as saying, Baby Monster is no joke. They're like 10 Jennies, alluding to Blackpink's Jenny Kim. And then, on December 30, 2022, YG Entertainment teased the members' first official introduction, which was followed by a brief video released on New Year's Day. The septet was eventually individually introduced through a series of live performances until their debut date was finalized. There have been tons of hiccups along the way, but nonetheless, fans have a lot to say about the girls. It didn't even help that one of the most popular members of the group didn't join the final debut lineup. Well, she was initially included, but YG belatedly announced that Ahyun will not be joining Baby Monster because of health reasons. The news immediately blew up and left a lot of people hanging, especially those who were waiting excitedly for Ahyun and the girls to finally debut. Everything started after rumors about Ahyun leaving YG made the rounds on the internet. And by this time, the girls are already facing countless setbacks before their debut. From delays and whatnot, the odds were against their favor. And with the added speculation about Ion's departure, things were not looking very bright for them. However, YG initially denied the reports and confirmed that Baby Monster will debut with all the members. And of course, fans were delighted. But not for that long, because soon after, the entertainment company dropped a bombshell. This time, confirming that Ayun will be stepping back because of health reasons. And the reaction was, for lack of better words, overwhelming. Soon after, fans tried digging the true reason behind the sudden decision. There were rumors about a possible conflict within the group or even a failed plastic surgery that left YG and Ayun with no choice but to make the decision of cutting her from the lineup. While everyone was trying to pinpoint the truth, the girls made their debut, and the rest is history. The result was pretty underwhelming, and it didn't even help that YG was not even doing the bare minimum to promote the girls. Take note, Baby Monster was the first girl group that they debuted in seven years, and yet the support and planning for their debut promotion didn't feel like it. While their song did pretty well on the charts, going into the details, Batter Up topped the iTunes charts in 21 countries, while the music video became the fastest MV to hit 100 million views for a rookie girl group. Moreover, the group has received a lot of affection from international fans, but their South Korean fan base was not having it. And while there has been a lot of excitement about the group, the agency has received a lot of criticism, with many fans expressing dissatisfaction with the repetitious sound and music video, as well as the absence of promotional activity. Specifically, fans feel like the song sounds very similar to Blackpink Lisa's Money. Oh, did I mention the group didn't participate in the music show or even fan signs to promote their album? But long-term YG fans were expecting the worst from YG. However, this kind of treatment for a rookie group was uncalled for. There are even fans who wonder if the rookie girl group will ever recover. Well, 
it seems like YG decided to take a different approach this time and announced that Ahyan will be making a comeback for Baby Monster's latest release. Yep, you heard that right. And once again, fans started wondering what's up. Ahyan's comeback. Yang Hyun Suk seems very excited about his upcoming plans. Last January 1, he highlighted Baby Monster's ambitions for 2024. He announced that the rookie group would make their debut reappearance on February 1 with a track stuck in the middle. He also stated that the group is planning to release its debut mini album around April 1. Speaking of Ayeon, Young Hyun Suk teased fans about a possible return, but he stressed that her comeback has yet to be finalized. Okay, at least there was a possibility of her coming back and everyone was on the edge of their seats waiting for the confirmation to drop. And it did. On March 11, YG Entertainment unveiled a teaser for girl group Baby Monsters eagerly awaited comeback in April. From siren noises to forceful beats, YG gives us a peek of the strong philosophy behind this comeback. In the video, the members of Baby Monster look bold and brilliant in their charismatic cinematic colors, red and black, with dazzling makeup that highlights their magnificent vision. And just like that, the girls once again proved why they are a powerful rookie from YG because of their charisma and undeniable swag. However, this was only the beginning because fans were treated with an awesome surprise at the end of the video. This was after Ahyun made her anticipated appearance and without a doubt, she immediately captivated viewers with her charm. Not to mention how she was not able to join the rest of the group during their debut because of alleged health reasons and to make a return together with Baby Monster's comeback is nothing short of being iconic. The attention doubled after YG started sharing teaser photos of the girls for the latest release, most especially after they posted photos of Ayeon and the number of likes and shares was insane, but understandable since, as mentioned before, everyone was looking forward to her debut. Fans also loved it when the company finally shared the first ever official OT7 photo. And let's be honest, everyone looks super gorgeous, right? This was actually a promo picture for their appearance for the 2024 Summer Sonic event in Tokyo. But when it comes to YG, nothing comes easy. This was after Kanes called them out for their lack of creativity. A lot of people pointed out that there was nothing new with the concept, and despite Ahyan's comeback, it seems like her presence was not making much of a difference either. At least, that's what this fan thought. Speaking about the photo, this fan wrote, I mean, it's great that Ahyan is back. She is super talented and gorge, but I don't see a huge difference everyone is talking about. I hope they do great though. And another who added, I can't help but feel that no one stands out, not even Ahyan. It also appears that the promotional photo was not intended to be posted when it did. Instead of a new photo of the seven members, the same photo was reposted on the group's social media pages to promote their first mini-album. Fans' reactions in this circumstance are identical to the previous incident, and many are perplexed as to why the same image is being used in both cases. Nonetheless, it seems like YG is still pushing through with a comeback and shared more details about this upcoming mini-album. Based from reports, Baby Monster's debut mini-album Baby Monster will be released on April 1 at Midnight KST, featuring new seven-member versions of their first two singles, Batter Up and Stuck in the Middle, which did not initially contain Ahyun. Sounds exciting, right? Are you looking forward to see Ahyun performing with the rest of the group as well? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to OKCOOL okay for more K-pop news.